give thanks for life and a mighty life giver, and we give thanks for all good things around us are sent from Zion above. So we pray, praise for I, praise for I, for all his love. I mean, we give thanks again for being with you. In the food of seven, where we don't only just food, you know, eat the food of, of words, you know, and, and food of thoughts and perception and all types of foods. The food basically created for the upliftment of the physical and spiritual person. Definitely, you know, we are living in a period of time when you know, the life of individuals are not really rated. As I always say, we have what we call suicidal tendencies. Um, basically because we actually perpetuate actions over and over again that actually leads to our own detriment. Sometimes it might sound a little bad. I mean, even for our people in St. Martin and Antigua, they're asking about the live stream. I don't think the live stream is running yet. So we have our people here asking for the live stream. Honorable soul, make sure that the live stream is actually going on for them. So when people actually live their life in a capacity whereby they don't really understand the significance of life, meaning, well, look, they are living their, their life in a manner where they are repeating actions that could end up in them losing their lives, that means that we are at a very great loss. That, that, that means specifically that as a nation of people, we are living what we call a suicidal life. Because as I, I, as I, as I am concentrating on this a lot these days, because, I mean, suicide means taking your life or performing an action that would lead to the loss of your life. And knowing that performing that action would lead to the loss of your life. Okay. So, as we always say, there are many ways that one could actually take their life. There are many ways where someone could actually commit suicide. They could hang themselves, they could jump off a roof, they could slit their wrist. I mean, they could drink some gumboxin, whatever it is. Someone might drink some gumboxin thinking that they're going to commit suicide and they might spend a whole seven days in the hospital suffering on the bed before they die. Right? So, if you just take that seven days in the hospital and add one zero behind it, it will be like 70 days. And 70 days could be, you understand? 70 weeks. Yeah? Yeah, 70 years of performing suicidal actions. So it means that, look, if you don't understand that the reason why you are not well, the reason why you have diabetes, high blood pressure, prostate cancer, breast cancer, and all of these so-called lifestyle diseases, because they are called non-communicable lifestyle diseases, right? So we're talking about non-communicable, meaning that you cannot counteract it if you rub on someone or say somebody cough on your face. <laughs> no, it's non-communicable. Right, so if your brother has diabetes and you rub on him, you won't get it. If your sister has prost um, breast cancer and you rub on her breast, you won't get it. Right, but at the end of the day, if you live the lifestyle, because they are called, I, 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 didn't, I never gave it the name, they are called lifestyle diseases. So that means that our people are living a life, their style of life is a particular life that leads to them developing diabetes. A disease that would result in them, you know, I mean, kidney failure, you know, diabetic retinopathy, diabetic glaucoma, you know, um, lung failure, heart disease, you lose toes, you lose legs, you lose fingers, you get blind eventually and you still die of diabetes. Die in a bit. Die a bit. Diabetes. As they say in St. Lucia, betis. Dying avec betis. So you eat so much betis that you actually die. So, not running away from the point. You're not escaping me tonight because I have you locked down there and the referee is about to come to free on you there. Knockout. Why? Because your actions as an individual has led to you actually getting a particular type of disease that could end up making you lose your life. 10 years of it, 20 of it, 30 of it. It's, it's only, it's only uh, as I would say, relative to the amount of gumboxin you drink, that will determine how fast you die. So it's relative. The amount of yogurt and cheese and cow milk you actually consume, knowing that you are, you are diabetic and you're eating bread and cheese and salami and hot dog every morning and you sit down at your home watching TV, your belly getting big and thing. Then you drink a cold beer, you know, every, 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 you know, every day you drink at least one cold one. Then you drink a little shot of, of, of white rum and then, you know, you go and eat some money cool or some type of thing. And then you know you are diabetic. And you know 
that sucking lollipops and drinking soft drinks are dangerous. They're bad for you. You're not supposed to actually do that. You know that. Yet still you are performing that action. You are doing the things that you know would eventually lead to you losing your life. How you call that? Suicide. Suicide. So we're talking about a people who are suffering from diseases based upon their psyche. That suicidal psyche. Meaning that we are performing actions that would inevitably end up taking our lives. As I said previously, someone could jump off a two-story building and they'll say, ah, boop, and they might die. If they're on a 10-story building, they'll say, ah, boop, and they'll die. If it's a 100-story building, man, it'll be a long fall before they actually die. You understand? So it's very important that we understand that even if your actions don't kill you today, I mean, they could kill you tomorrow or day after. And it's still these actions which are responsible for your death. Very important. You might, take a, you, might, you might go to the doctor and they might prescribe some aspirin or some Tylenol or some ibuprofen. And then what happens is that they might say, well, take one tablet twice a day. All right. Now, over a period of 40 days, you take a tablet twice a day, then the whole cartoon of tablet is done. So you have consumed 40 days, two tablets a day, 80 tablets at 50 milligrams every single day. You have consumed that. Okay. So... It took you 40 days to consume that jar of pills. But if you drank that complete jar of pills immediately, you might lose your life. They call it an overdose. All right. But still, by taking it twice a day would mean that your physical structure would still be exposed to the same quantity of pill. Right or wrong? Right. right. Because you've drunk the whole container. It's just like the gromogs and the poison. You could take one cup and die in a week. But what if you take a, 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 a thing and you take a drop, a drop, a drop, a drop, a drop a day? It might take you 10 years, but that same thing is going to destroy you because your physical structure is going to be actually affected by it also in the long run. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to go to the culture segment definitely and we give thanks even for being with you today and you know sharing that wonderful moment with you. And it's always a blessing that the Almighty have actually allowed us to be in your means, in your sitting room, and wherever it is that you are, we do give thanks specifically for being with you. And very important, you know, when you have your vehicle and your vehicle have an oil leak, very important. If your vehicle have an oil leak and you go to your mechanic and your mechanic say, oh, John, your vehicle have an oil leak. You say, okay, right, give thanks. Then he said, John, every day just put a, a quarter of oil in your engine before you go and thing and make sure you always top it up a quarter of oil every single day. So then you use that vehicle every day topping up one quarter of oil. Every day you're going out with one quarter of oil. Eventually, what's going to happen to the engine of your vehicle? It's going to get damaged until the whole engine blow off and then that's it. Your vehicle is gone. Now, if you just put yourself as the diabetic or the hypertensive or the person with fibroids or polycystic ovarian syndrome, whatever disease it is that you have and you're not at ease, if you put yourself in that same predicament and you say, well, look, you go to the doctor, to say, oh, your pressure is high, but you must take that pill every single day. It's just like the vehicle. So it's like you have to take this pill every single day for the rest of your life and you still die of high blood pressure. So then your vehicle, you have to put a quart of oil every single day and then the engine still blows up. So then why is it that you would be comfortable as an individual to repeat an action? That's what they define insanity as. Repeating an action over and over and over again expecting a different result. So you are drinking this tablet and juking yourself and pricking yourself on the legs and the, and the thighs and then on your buttocks and your arms. Everywhere you could find some skin if an insulin injection. And then you never question yourself. But if it was your vehicle and you were driving that vehicle every day and you had to top it up with oil every single day, you're going to say, boy, let me go to a different mechanic. Eh? 
Because that one to blow off my engine, you know. Because you love your vehicle more than yourself. So then, you could question how it is that someone would treat your vehicle. But yet still, you won't question how, you, how someone would treat you. So, if you just took a moment and say, but look, somebody is going to tell me I have high blood. But why, why, how do I have, why, 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 how did I get high blood pressure? I mean, I mean come on. The things where you eat is a lifestyle disease. High sodium foods makes your physical such a retain salt, retain water, and boom, your pressure increases. Oh, but I mean, okay, then you find what the solution is right away because you know what the problem is. So it's impossible that without changing the variables in your life that you're going to expect to get a different outcome because you are the constant. So you are that constant that performs that action that equals diabetes, hypertension, prostate cancer, breast cancer. So, if you don't change that action and expect that you're going to take a little white little something that somebody making in some little lab and all they're thinking about is how they're going to pay their, 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 their $25 million jet and the $100,000, you know, 757 and the, 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 little, the little house that they have in the Cayman Islands and them different things. Oh, I mean, come on. I don't blame them. I mean, they're just doing business. But your business is supposed to be yourself. So you question the mechanic about the vehicle, but yet still you, you continue living your life in a way whereby you expect miracles, not making any changes whatsoever. If whatever you are suffering from is a lifestyle disease, the first thing you're supposed to adjust is your lifestyle. Before you drink a pill, before you go to the doctor even, you feel boy, you check your pressure, pressure is high, before you go to anyone, What you do, you have to actually do what you know is best. So I don't have, you don't have to come and listen to Priest Kailash and say, oh, but, but, but Priest man, da, 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 da. No, no, you don't, I, I don't have to tell you anything. If you have not begun implementing the good that you know for yourself, what I tell you would be of, of little significance to you because you know the truth that you know for yourself. But you know that, okay, you watch on the news, CNN said it, BBC said it all. TV and radio people talk about how sausages and red, red meats and processed mm -hmm. meats give cancer. Sure. They are as bad as asbestos. Mm -hmm. And yet still it's still in the contents of the school. So if you know all that and you don't want to do it, you think I'm going to come and tell you something else. No? So the beginning of it is love of self. Whereby you begin to implement the actions that you know are positive for yourself before anyone at all tells you something. So you know the soft drinks, but stop the soft drink. Stop sucking the lollipop. Stop chewing the gum. Chew, how can you chew your gum? Chewing gum. The only part of your physical structure you cannot chew is your gum and you still chew it every single day. And you call it chewing gum. Definitely we give thanks for life and a mighty life giver. Remember the system is warped. The policeman never, never prevent the crime. They always come when the person is dead. After the robbery is done and they go, whoa, 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 and the person escapes and then they investigate the crime. The hospital is supposed to be the place of people that, that are sick go to get well. But the sick are afraid to go to the hospital because when they reach there, they die. Can you imagine that? The hospital is supposed to be a place of healing. And you could call anyone. I could call anyone right now and say, Hey, you're not well. You want to go to the hospital? Nah, man, nah, man, nah, man, nah, man. When they feel that like they have no hope, that's when they'll go to the hospital. When it's supposed to be a place for healing, Our Minister of Education has never taught a day in their life. Our Minister of fin Finance has never run a successful business. Our Minister of Housing has never built a house. Our Minister of Health has, has healed no one. They've never done anything healthy, not even for themselves. Yet still, they're going to carry a portfolio of Minister of Health. So how, how is that person going to have compassion for the sick? How is that person going to understand how to deal with a country of sick people when they've not even dealt with an office or a family or themselves that are sick. So the system is what? You are your own leader. God is in flesh. You have to look into yourself to begin to do what you have to do to actually uplift and benefit yourself. There is no way that someone else is going to love you more than you're supposed to love yourself. We must make the Minister of Health sign the contract that when, when he or she falls sick, they cannot fly to Europe. They cannot go to Martinique or Guadeloupe. They have to go in the same hospital everyone goes to. Unless you do that, I mean you're wasting your time. 
when your ministers fall sick, they can fly and take the plane and try to get some other medical attention. They can afford an air ambulance or your, your, your tax money pay for it. But yet still, you as a person, when you fall sick, it's in St. Jude's you go in in the stadium. The hospital burned seven years ago. And up to now, they cannot fix it. What a shame. Definitely, we give thanks for life and a mighty life giver. When we come again, I mean, we have a very compact program. And we give thanks as, you know, we're going to join the Honorable Kess Wesmore for the culture segment going up until the 7 o'clock time. Then we're going to go for an intercession. Then we have an Honorable Brother with us coming from, from B.C., from Vancouver, in, you know, in, in, in North America. You know, he's a, 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 a motion therapist. I mean, um, fitness and these type of things, that's what he does specifically. He's going to be with us, you know, from the 7 o'clock hour and going to give us some education on exactly how is it that we could actually uplift ourselves when it comes to the whole aspect of motion, how to move, how to scratch your nose. You know, some people cannot scratch their nose. Mm. You know that? True. Yeah, man. All right. So we're going to get some help in that. So give thanks again, definitely. And remember, you know, self-love is the first love. Right? And we're going to continue with Honorable Kess. Where's my, my Lord? Give thanks for the eye. Love. Honorable my Lord. Bless the love. Give thanks to life again. Give thanks to health and strength. We do give thanks for, you know, our mighty life giver, you know. We do give thanks continually for the God in love of love, you know. The God in us and the God around us, you know. So, you know, some of, so many times we talk about giving thanks unto the Lord, you know, but, you know, you have the, the the toilets where you just sit down and squat in the toilet mm -hmm. but that's how we're supposed to to defecate and i couldn't squat down so my hips are super sore which leads to my back so i would say the hips which the knees are the victim joints so we forget about our hips we forget about our hips and then our knees take the beating so that's where i felt it the most but then once i looked into it it's the hips the hips that came into my back and what was it that you said okay you began putting things into practice what are some of the things that you actually began doing to actually help to mobilize yourself first thing i started to do was just to sit down as low as I can in a squat, which for me at the time was extremely difficult. So just trying to get my butt to my heels and sit all the way down. You know when people say squat, they have 200 pounds on their back, 300 pounds, uh, squat down a little bit and then come back up. But for me, it was just to, to rest. You know how they do in Asia, they just see them on the corner <coughs> and they're just sitting there resting in the squat. And that was, that was kind of the first, the first thing that I started to implement and that, set me off so what in your in the works that you've been doing as a as a, um, a motion therapist i don't know if that's the correct title movement 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 coach. movement coach. yes movement coach what has been your highs the highs for me is a father who I'm, came to me i'm not talking about high like high you know <laughs> <for high. laughs> so the highs for me is uh, <coughs> You have a, a father who comes in, 50, in his mid-50s, and he wants to get stronger. He wants to be able to do all this cool stuff he sees me doing on the bars and all that stuff. And I said, take a look back. Okay, your kid is just being born. Do you want to be able to squat down and play with your kid? 
do you want to be able to to enjoy doing the things with your kid? Because if you want to perform at this level, it's going to take certain things that you're going to have to sacrifice the f basic enjoyment. So what we did with him is we're just working on him getting into the squat. And just for him to realize for himself, like, yo, I'm actually, I'm, I'm moving for not just the benefit of myself, not just for to get a bigger biceps, you know, bigger chest, but to benefit my child, you know, to benefit my family as a whole. And once that, that's like the, the greatest, the greatest joy to realize that for people to realize, like, it's not just in the gym. This is me when I'm with my kids. You know, this is me when I'm out, out playing around, when I'm out just moving around. So that's, that's the high of all this. And your lows? The lows, everyone wants to just get the, the big chest quick. You know, everyone just wants to, to go to the gym, see how much they can lift. And sometimes it's hard for people to understand that before you do that stuff, there's this basic function of the human body that we want to cover and you know sometimes it just doesn't get through to people and it's the same way with the food and it's a lifestyle at the end of the day it's the lifestyle like you were saying earlier so with this lifestyle they're not understanding it's a lifestyle they just want that quick fix you know they just want to take that pill and choop, done right but this is a lifestyle and that's something that some people just they're not implementing they don't understand so tell me when you say lifestyle, how long would, okay, if I say, well, I want to be able to, to do a split, okay? Yeah. Because I want to split, to, because my children do karate. Yeah. All of them split. Oy. My youngest son, now my youngest karate guy got him. He would sit down and eat, he'd stand up by the chair while he's eating and he'll just put his feet straight up. And he's just, and, and he's just there, right? So I, I would say, well, how long would I have to go through a routine? of lifestyle changes that would be able to, that would enable me, right, to actually perform or move my physical structure in that same capacity as a young child. Is that possible even? Some of us, we're too far gone. You know, just to be honest, we're too far gone to perform a splits and to, to do these, these really high performance moves. So with that being said, let's get closer and closer. You know, for me, I'm still working on redoing all of my damage from back when I was playing. So it's going to take a long time. And if you focus on just one part of the movement, because if you focus on just the splits, then you're going to take away your time from working on your back, your shoulders, your knees. So with that, sometimes, why do you even want to do a split in the first place? You know, what's the, what's the goal behind why you want to do it? And it is it good, gonna, man. It looks good, I know. <laughs> you know, so with that, there can't be a time. Everyone has their, their new, their, their ways of, of coming along to that. My, my, my empress, she does yoga. And she says, well, the older you get, the better you get. The more flexible you get as you actually age. Then people will tell you, well, okay then. The, the older you get, the, the stiffer you get. She would say, well, the older you get, um, the more flexible you are. You know? And when it comes to people who who might have gone through traumatic experiences or people, let's say, who have sciatica. What would you say then, okay, someone has sciatica and they have, you know, um, damaged their back to an extent where they have high levels of inflammation in the sciatic nerve and or they have a pinched nerve and they have that tingling, that pain in their legs. How is it that you would go about rect rectifying these type of things or do you do these things at all? Well, for me, we're always going to, when it comes to these, these greater traumatic experiences, we're going to work with someone who's uh, like a massage therapist, a chiropractor, um, a physio or someone there, just to, <coughs> for them to get a understanding that there is okay to go ahead. But from there, it's, it's just basically the same way you're, you're, you have food and you need nutrition for your, for your body to survive. You need nutrition of movement. So you need to be able to move your body in certain places. So no matter where you are along your journey, no matter where you are, if you have sciatica, if you have these different traumatic experiences, moving slowly and just going at it piece by piece. And sometimes we'll just break down joint by joint, little, little 
um, vertebrae by vertebrae, and that is going to improve and improve. Not everyone is going to go towards the same goal, but if we take someone with the traumatic experience, they need to be broken down like really, really small pieces, really small pieces to get that, that nutrition back into their movement and get that, get that feeling back. But certain things, it's tough to really reverse, you know, so we're just going to try and work with you so you are able to move as comfortable as possible. Okay, give thanks. So you're saying that there are, there are points, what I'm, what I'm gathering, is that there are points where someone has reached whereby they so like you said, when a man like me, well, I can't do by split because maybe I'm far gone or someone would say, well, um, they, they cannot do that because they, they far, they, they're too far gone. What, what, when would someone know, well, look, well, they're too far gone to even try to attempt to get to that particular point. I would think from my little chair where I'm sitting that, I mean, how I look at life is that you're never too far gone. Exactly. Exactly. So how would, how would you determine? So when would I know where I have to stop? Never stop. Because that's the issue in the first place, is stopping. So you're never too far gone to start and to continue to, to go along your journey. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to run. Do we have live stream connected here, ma'am? Um, the, 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 the thing connected. It's blank. Is it a blank I'm seeing there? Or is, is it functioning properly? What, what I was going to do, I was going to play a video of the brethren doing a, what they call a back lever. But I don't know whether, are we, are we, are we connected? Okay, all right, we connected properly. That's, I looked at that before <laughs> you came down when you said we were. Okay, so we. So these things that you do there now, when you were playing basketball, were you saying that, w w did you have these abilities at that time? <laughs> no way. Not even close. Even half a year after playing basketball and working on my body, I wasn't there. It was something that I really worked on day by day by day to be able to get my shoulder into those ranges of motion where I'm comfortable because my, my physio will come to me and say, I don't like that you're doing that. I don't like your shoulders being in that position. But that's what I train. That's what I allow my body to do by training for it. And that's what I can do now. So it's, it's kind of the expression of my movement now. And that's something that I have definitely earned, something that I have put forward. So if it is that you were doing these type of, these type of movements before you began on your basketball career, you think that you would have been better off? So much better off because right now, if I don't play basketball for six months and I go step on the court, I'm faster, I'm jumping better. You know, I'm just more mobile. I'm able to, to move smoother. And this is something that when I played basketball, I never made anything look easy. I was always like, gah, 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 like, you know, like forcing everything. So now I'm a little bit smoother on the court. And if I had that back then, who knows? But... You know, I, will, I feel better now, and I can't imagine if I learned that way back then, you know, if I implemented that. So how young, or how young can you begin actually working on people when it comes to the whole action of, of movement therapy? Well, like you said, your, your children are doing yoga, they're doing the splits, they're doing karate. So children are the, the perfect movers. They move perfectly. Because you see how they move, they have the splits, they can do things with their shoulders that makes us cringe, right? So the child already has that already into their, into their system. So what we have to do is just work with the children so they don't lose that. And what do we do? We put them in classes, they sit down all day, and they stop moving, you know, playing video games. And once they get out of the yoga, the, the gymnastics, the dancing, the martial arts, whatever they like to do, they start to lose whatever they had as children. So if you don't use it, you lose it, right? Same with movement. So from a child, you can start working it as a child, start and just don't ever let it go away. And then that's the best way. But I mean, you talk the talk and I see you, 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 you stretch the stretch a while ago. <laughs> but I mean, for the people who, who might want, you know, um, 
you know, to, to get, you know, some benefit from your services. You know, uh, I mean, definitely, I would see that um, in your future plans, because many of our people from, you know, from, okay, like from okay, me, I, I went in 2006, seven, you know, I left St. Lucia, I went to Africa. I never intended to come back. You understand? But yeah. God himself came and spake to me and said, priest, man, I mean, come on, man. There are things that you have to do at home, you know, man, and take care of the people and thing and thing. You know, and that is it. Yes, I still do travel to Africa. I travel the world. But at the same time, I find that it's very important that we actually contribute, you know, something to uh, our, you know, our genes actually, you know, in, um, started from. So how is it that you intend to work with us, the people in St. Lucia, towards, you know, impacting your knowledge, do you intend to carry, to come and spend a time and do a little se these seminars or do some classes, you know, or even come and spend a little moment? I know that you must be real busy because you only came down for a couple of days this time, you know. So do you have in your future plans? Because I'm sure people are going to ask, why well, please kill boy, I have a back pain there, you know, and this man, that thing, 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 thing. You know, do you intend in the future to actually come and what is it that are your plans towards, you know, working with us in St. Lucia to help? to alleviate the problems that our people are suffering from. For the future here, I see me coming here to St. Lucia and, and spending some time here. I come here every once in a while to, to kind of understand what's going on here, um, how's it going, and in the future I plan on setting things up for the children here. So say I'm working with my nieces and nephews out here and I want to see them have their programs where they're being, they're being taught how to move, you know, they're being taught how to, how to use their body and, and show, that, show love to themselves through their body as well, through movement. So I would love to, to have workshops here. I would love to come here and bring coaches from the U.S., say it's from U.S., Canada, for basketball, let's say. Or I would love to have yoga teachers. I love to have MMA. I like to have all these different kind of teachers come here so we can put on a workshop, so we can have the people here in St. Lucia able to benefit because, you know, this is the blood, this is where I'm from, so I, I want to bring it back here. And that's something that has called me for a while and this is something that I want to see happen in the future and it's, it's exciting to be able to bring something like that over here because it's a beautiful island already. So bringing people here to see the beautiful island is going to be amazing for them and for the people here to, to be able to experience this type of movement, this type of uh, training, and this type of program would be just perfect both ways, beautiful. So, I mean, um, before, we, before I ask you the other question, and we'll be going into an intercession shortly, um, let, let, let's just have a look at, at, at the brother's website. That's um, richsoulsfitness.com. Yes. That's the brother's website here. You know, um, Showing you some moves and you know, I know Priske Lash don't really expose himself like that. But <laughs> I mean, you know, if I I'd, I'd put you in the shade, <laughs> you know that if I had if I had to show the people my you would uh, that's what you, that's what you got under that. <laughs> uh, well, you got to keep people guessing. Right? Yes, true, Definitely. true. So I mean, that's your website, richsoulfitness.com. You know, um, beautiful website specifically. You know and. Um, when it comes to, okay, we know that in St. Lucia, we, before we go to that intercession, we know in St. Lucia, you know, diabetes is rampant, okay? In, in your work, right, how do you have any kind of routines that you have specifically developed for diabetics, people who suffer diabetes, high blood sugar levels? For diabetes, a lot of these, these lifestyle diseases is just to do something you enjoy moving, and just go for a jog and make a consistent habit of, of doing this movement. You know, if we're going to talk about the fitness thing, just do something you enjoy. If you want to go walk around the hills, go for a walk around the hills and do it consistently every day, every second day. But the main thing is that consistency. The main thing, whatever you like to do, you want to go swimming, go swimming every day. You like to ride a bike, go ride a bike. But the main thing is to just get your body moving to get your blood circulating and to get things moving how they should be. Give thanks, honorable. I mean, give thanks for, for being with us. I mean, um, when we come again, 
you know, we'll, we'll, you know, keep on questioning you as we have you for a little moment. So if there's anything that you might want to tell the people, you could think about it during the intercession when you come again. You know, and if the people have any calls, you could call and ask the brother a question, 451-9349-453-1730. Make him feel welcome that maybe one day he might come, you know. You don't have to wait for Bruce Lee. You know, Bruce Lee dead long time. <laughs> you understand? Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chuck Norris retired already. No, no. Right? So then you have your young, the young people, definitely. When you come again, whatever question you have, you could ask him the question. Or if it is that you want to find out anything about what he do, you could actually call and give us a, ask your question specifically. When we come again, we'll continue. Remember, um, tomorrow, Monday, you know, because um, tomorrow Monday, not normally Mondays I would be in office about 11. But what we do tomorrow, because of, it's a Lent season, the you know, praying and fasting in the wilderness, and I have to break my fast at exactly 12 o'clock, and I only have between 12 and 2 to actually, you know, consume my feast. You know, so what we will do now, tomorrow morning from 8 o'clock until, you know, 11 o'clock is the time that we could actually see people. That is 8 till 11. If you want a late afternoon appointment, you'd have to call 722-3660 and book that. But definitely from 8 to 11, that's the time that we'll be able to see you. When we come again, you know, remember also the Herbal Manual is now available. When we come again, you could now, you know, sit down with us in your living room while we sit down here. And you would give us a call and let us know exactly what you feel about what the brother is saying. If it makes sense, dollars, or if you just, you know want to find out some more information, do give us a call. Bless and love. Yes, we give thanks for life and a mighty life given. We give thanks, you know, for the moment that we are sharing wonderful words of life. Words of life and beauty, teach me faith and duty, beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. As we have our honorable brother here with us, though he's not a guest, you don't have guests on the program because he's not guessing. You know, he's gone through his life journey and he's here to actually impact some knowledge on us as a people. So if it is you have any questions, give us a call 451 <coughs> You know, yearly we used to have, we for seven consecutive years, mm -hmm. we had what we call um, Saint Lucia Wellness Day. You know, yep. in 2006 we began the first one, that is the Wellness Day. Um, uh, we did the first one in Antigua, We Love Life Day, and you know, the second one we did it in Saint Lucia 2006, 2007. Then it, you know we had Caribbean Wellness Day. You know, and from that point we, you know, we normally used to bring in expertise. You know, different people have different expertise into the into the into the country, awesome. and um, normally our wellness event would have <coughs> taken um, the 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 format of you no know, tai chi yoga, you know, wholly but different presenters, you know, um, uh, Dr. Aris Lafam, rock raw food expert, you know, we've had um, Joel Pulcro, we've had many different people, many 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 different people actually come and bless the shores of Saint Lucia. So it would be good that we look into the future to see how is it that we could, you know, create an event surrounding your whole aspect of your movement. But it would be something that would have to be in a different format because I would think that it's very important that the people have an opportunity to benefit, you know, from doing the actions themselves. Mm -hmm. I know that bad habits are bad habits, so that means it takes a good while to actually come out of their physical structure. So at least if they have a seven days of repeating a particular action, I would think that this would be actually beneficial to them. Is there anything you'd like to tell our... I mean, come on, man. Give them a, a call. 451 <laughs> Don't call about and say you have a headache. What are you supposed <laughs> to drink? You know, come on. Let, um, let, let's give the man a hail up and, and, and bless him up. You know, he's the son of the soil. He's here with us. Let's make him feel at home. Any, anything you want the, the people to know about on Robert? Just when approaching your... Your lifestyle, your fitness, <coughs> do something you enjoy. Do something that you're going to be able to sustain for more than just one day. And do something that, that you love. Feed that body something that you love. So you're able to do it up until, who knows, you know, up until you're done. So just give yourself that love and show yourself that, that love to, 
to do enough to, to give back to yourself through movement and not forget about our flesh. And we have to be able to move around in this to be able to do whatever we want. Because your money's no good if you can't use it, right? No good if you can't no use it. No good. Yeah. I mean, it's no good if you use it for the wrong thing, so. Same. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, you know. Okay, all right. Um, 4519349453130. I'm expecting that you would give the man a call and make the man <laughs> welcome in St. Lucia. You cannot do this. Not at all. No, don't call and ask about headaches about any of these things you have to call and let's deal with what the gentleman you know is here dealing with when it comes to the whole aspect of of movement you know there are people who have actually lost limbs you know um saint lucia you know is like a, a diabetic diabe diabetic city you know so how do you is there any special you know um, um, um procedures or special uh, how you call these things the routines that have been developed for people who you know, where you could assist people, maybe a man who have lost a leg or a man who have, you know, less, lost a toe. Do you have any particular routines that deals with these type of things? There's nothing specific for someone who lost a limb. And it's basically whatever <coughs> limbs you do have, whatever you have, work with it and just move with it and get it going. And not to make excuses because everyone's looking for an excuse to not work, to not put that work in to give back. So there's no excuses, just all we like to do, all I like to do is to put every joint on your body through its full range of motion at least once a day. So everything, every part of your body, if it's your neck, see how it is to so just do a full circle. And whatever limbs, whatever joints you have, try that. I think we have a caller there. One do the caller, blessed. Well, I had them on the hold for a while. <laughs> I see, I don't like to interrupt my presenters. Yes. You have another caller? Yes. Okay, all right, blessed. Go ahead. Yes. Yes, how, brother. How you say he's in the. the, the, the how you say he's in the. 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 See, I tell you, don't call about the <laughs> herbs. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. All right, you can use the roots. <laughs> If, if you're using the roots, you have to put, put it in a water and pistol, crush it, and then boil it. Let it, let it cool and drink the water through the day. Alright? But you have to use about a 7 inches of no, root. No, no how you are saying that? Um, uh, for, it's used for, for, for sinus. How you do it? Oh, well, you boil it and then you put that, your, your, your head over the, the basin and allow the vapors and you inhale the vapors. Yeah. You never even tell our, our, our visitor good night okay. or anything. Yeah. All right, give thanks, brother. Right. Love. Good night, good night, good yeah, night, brother. Love, love. <laughs> four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero. Mom did a caller, you could call again. I know you were calling to give our brother a little <laughs> blessing there still. All right, so give us a call again and, and bless us up. So, what about the foods that you consume? You see, when you're speaking, even if the call comes, right? Our program is not based upon how many calls that you receive. Yeah. Sometimes people just like to receive the information. All right? Yes, yes. So I wouldn't, I don't like stopping people just to take a call. So caller, if you see what I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, just because I want the man to speak, so at least you, you get the information. Okay? Yes, honorable. Food, what are you talking about? Because you know, pre don't eat, you know, a whole heap of things still. And, you know, yes. we are plant-based. Plan plant-based. So, based. so do you eat um, turkey and beef and lunch and meat and them type of things? No, turkey, beef, lunch meat, salami. I don't eat any of that. The ital, you know, the vegan, okay. plant-based. And keep it, keep it from the earth. Keep so you're saying all your big muscles and all these things that you have there, you have no, 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 no um, pigtail and nothing like that in that there? No <laughs> ham? No pigtail, no ham. If you just know... How to eat, you could do reach any goals, you know, any goals, whether it's plant-based and you want to gain weight, you want to get strong and muscular, you just switch up the foods you eat a little bit to, to help reach those goals. But you don't have to go to the flesh, you don't have to go to the, the oxtails, the hamburgers, you know, what we, what we have in Canada is go eat the hamburgers if you want to gain weight. There's healthy ways to do it on a plant-based diet as well. So what, what are the foods that you would actually eat on a day-to-day -day basis? What I love to eat, I love my chickpeas. So what I like to do is, I like to eat kind of Indian food. So 
I'll recreate an Indian dish that usually might have some meat in it, and I'll ha have some, some, mu some mushrooms, some onions, a bunch of veggies, put it together, and get some ancient grains, some spelt, and that's it. <laughs> okay, Masha, call her, blessed. Nice. Yes, blessed my sister. Yes, sister. Ma, ma, Mr. Oh. George. Mr. George. Okay, sister George. I'm in Delhi. Okay, put the um, the thing a little lower. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. Go ahead now. Hello. Yes, 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 Ella. Hello. Yes, Ella. I'm hearing you. Don't, don't listen to the TV, man. Listen to the phone. Yeah? Yes, Mr. George, I'm hearing you and I remember you. Yeah. What am I speaking to, please? <laughs> Hello? Yes, honorable. All right, I don't, I don't, I don't think that. I don't think they're ready, honorable. Technician, no. I think. <laughs> I know who they are. They are some of my elders. I love you, right? I love you. you know, Mr. George, you must be almost 90 now, eh? Yeah, some people come to you and they, they're 80 and, and they're still performing sexually. You know? Some of the elders used to take good care of themselves. You know, a, lot of, a lot of our young people nowadays, mm -hmm. you know, um, they, they hardly are able to function. Mm -hmm. so they, they, are there movements that increases the potency of a man? So to make a man more, uh, more of a man, a better man in, in, his, in his sexual performance? <laughs> yeah, do you have movements for that? I think the squat. The squat for me is, is something, if you have control of the hips, if you can control your body, you'll just feel better and you will, your performance will, will skyrocket in that sense. So that's what I tell you know, everyone, just go, just work on getting down into the squat, work on controlling those hips, you know, and that's, that's movement at the end of the day. So just work on that squat, get all the way down and just hang out there. Well, you, man, you know, you pass and, and you see a holy per man squatting down by the road, right? Yeah. Trying to, catch, trying to get that level up. No. <laughs> Call and ask a question relevant to the program that we have in place, you know. You don't want to call about headaches <laughs> and about Fay <Faye> <coughs> and, and and call and, and, and bless up the brother. So some I mean I mean come on. Our, our people this is, this is a young brother right from Saint Lucia, you know. His his father is basically my godfather. Right? And you know, he, he saved my life really. Even by the I, I, I told him the story <laughs> when I was a baby growing up, you know. I was I'm really a ganja baby. You know, um, when I was a baby, I was very sick as a baby. You know, when there is a Christ, a man that is born to uplift his people, born, you know, the devil has tried to take them from birth. Remember, Mary, Magda, uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus, you know, had to hide him all around the place just because you know, they wanted to kill him. So the Satan does always try to attack, right? So, yes, me could call her. That's a very important story. I'm going to complete it first and then you're going to come in, <laughs> right? And I was very, very one second, one second, I, I know you're here, one second. And I was very, I was not well at all. And then your father had that one little marijuana tree, yeah. right? And my grandmother took it and she said she boiled the whole plant and thing. And from that day, all vomiting and everything is gone. So basically, marijuana saved my life. Yes, me could call her blessed and, and, and Mr. Pierre. Yes, me could call her. Yes, okay. yeah, blessed. I will, um, I would like to come and see you. At, um, I'm living there, so, and I would like to come and see you next week. No, well, like to, um, the week coming tomorrow. Okay. Now I living. I saw you in view photo already, and I look everywhere. I thought you was um by um that place you was. Somebody tell me you was by your mother's side, by library. Okay. And I keep on looking, looking, looking. It's about my um. I, uh, what is that? Well, and my, my sister, uh, these days we are in, um, I closed down the Viford branch, I closed down the city branch, and we closed do. down the Royal Navy branch. Everywhere there for me, my right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So you could put on, 
You and had pre- blood pressure. Okay. And, uh, it's a little bit I You remember I came to, to see you and that is for this. But I keep on on my diet. I am on my diet. I lose three pounds already. Lose? Oh, wow, that's great. Yes, um, that's great. My, uh, taking my smoothie juice, my thing, or whatever, this and that. But the, they, they told me is my cholesterol that high. I want a medicine. Before I come and see you, I want something for the cholesterol. Before you come and see me? Yeah, of course I wanted to take my... <coughs> my I feel much better. Okay, give thanks. Give thanks for that. Yeah. But um, the, if your cholesterol high, that means you're still eating a little meat. Eat too? What you do? Vian, vian. No, no, no. P- 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 poisson. Eh? Poisson. Not, not now. Not this. It's about a month. <laughs> I leave that already. Okay, all right. <laughs> So what you have to do, you have to cut off all them things there and then after to one check your cholesterol again, it'll be good, right? But huh? wh- right now we are in we are in Bois de Rouge, okay? But when I come and see you, you remember the, the time I come and see you in Viewfort? It was a little trouble with me and you. I don't think you remember that, but <laughs> because I come there, there is a lot of people and when I try, I I'll be able to see you. There won't be a lot of people there. And, and there will be people there, but... I'm only seeing a specific number of people, so if you are to see me tomorrow, you have to come up between 8 and 11. Mm. That's, so a, you, that's tomorrow alone. How many days you having the, the, the clinic? There? Mostly Mondays, but if you have a special case, just call the number 722-3660 and then you'll get, the, you'll get um, we'll organize you. Yeah, so, you see, if you see how I try to get you, not today, not to this <laughs> month, not this month, I just try then. I find the number and I try not to. That's good. It's about a whole year and I try. You just exercise. I want to push for me to pay for the, um, for the, I, although, although I am not I drinking. Do you exercise? A lot. I walking from, did you pass the road when you were going to, um, when the bridge had fall? Yes. You see, you passed there, so? Yes. You see the two hills there? Uh-huh. To go the, like this and come back. That's, that's my routine. Ah, uh, that's great. Awesome. That, or else from there to top of Monobet, the where you, they have the tank. I don't think you pass these days. I walk in a lot, a lot. And what's your age now? Uh, stop walking, I think it's that bring the, the cholesterol. Eh, uh, oh, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> I've stopped for a while. Give me your number. Give me your number, please. Four five five zero zero one one. All right, I'll call you. Okay, love. Take care. Oh, you too. Bless it. I'll see you. All yeah. right. Mm. You see, I tell the people don't call about these things, eh? <laughs> Still call you about these things. Okay, eh? Might have to show them a video, some more video, get them to, to look on their Instagram, you know, if they're on the phones at home, just to, to kind of understand more of what's going on because they might not really understand see people who want quick fix they understand you know and i was saying our people are very shy you know mm-hmm. see tomorrow i'll pass on the street yeah. you'll pass on the street tomorrow and they'll be watching like <laughs> right so our people they 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 they're, they're listening okay but, but, okay. Yeah, but um but what what level of schooling you had to do to get to that point what what what's your educational background i got my my certification in the health and fitness and okay, that's the right, world okay. okay bishop's gap Bless her love. Bless her. Bless her. Uh, Mrs. Bless King, I hope, you, I hope you're calling about I, you. God. <laughs> and bless her love. Bless her love. Guest. Yes. <laughs> and you are appreciative. Bless her love to him. Bless okay, bless, love. bless her. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice program for young people, I think. Give thanks. Yeah, for young people, young men, young women. I'm too old for that. <laughs> the you, program. <laughs> you, never too old. Nah, nah, she's, she's someone who... Tell him what you want. Tell him what you, you tell him. One of the t- pains that you just have, and what he recommend for it. Oh, the sciatic, sciatic pain I have. Yes, she has yeah, the sciatic pain. And uh, my knee. The knees. The knees. The, the left knee. See when you're when you're sitting down. Yeah. Just lean forward, bend forward, and try and touch the toes, and come back up. Uh huh. And just too. just do that. And as long as you're comfortable, and just every day, just do that for five minutes, and just to give your back the nutrition, see how it feels. Okay, thank you. Yes, good. I'll thanks. try that. Let me see. <laughs> I, it worked already. 
Remember, 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 you know, when the woman came to Christ, she tell Christ, just say that word, eh? <laughs> and, it, and, and it's done. So you have to understand, don't just take the words that he's uttering lightly. Yes. Sometimes we just see people and we don't, we don't understand how much thousands of dollars some other person have to pay just to have them tell them the same little thing that they tell you. Drink a little kokong kuliti and anything, you take it light. Do a little bending so I feel good already, you know, man. My yes. back is getting the nutrition. I felt yeah. like nice. Mrs. King, I mean, too. come on, you have to come try the thing. I have this on TV. All right, my sister. Love, thanks for calling. Blessed, love. Blessed, blessed. Yes, so I mean, you see somebody call and get a blessing already. Call, call and get your blessing before the time is up. You only have four more minutes. Four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero. Don't call about anything when it comes to the whole aspect of headache. Toothache, diabetes, we're talking about movement, little pains, you know, different when I when I go up, even if the brother says some people think I'm I'm working on my split, you know, man. When you come when you come in next year, yes. I, on the on the program I'll, I'll be splitting like I, that. I I hope to see that. Right, I okay. hope to see that. You'll see that man. All right, we I can we can do it already. Yes, we'll, we'll Yes, I'm Mark uh, Mac Collar, blessed. Yes, blessed yes. Blessed honorable. Yes. Blessed. And welcome to your guest. Well, you're not guessing, you know. He's our well, presenter he's your tonight. Guest. Well, your presenter. Yeah, yeah. That's a good program. Give I time. started Give listening to it quite Thanks. late. I didn't hear everything that he was saying. But um, when he was talking about the stretch, not stretching. Your TV is a bit too loud. Lower your TV volume. Okay. When he was. When you're talking about the knee and the stretching to touch your toes, doesn't that hurt your stomach? It's it's not that doesn't hurt for me, but what it might be is go walk around and see how it feels after some time, but just work little by little and it will it will get better. So you can start seated first even. Yeah, but if your stomach is big then you know might have to work on that might have to work on that to to get that away first and to help you move because that's that's something that we'd like to work on as well to help us to allow us to move so that's all a part of our flesh all a part of our body so that's something that we're gonna have to work on as well and we have the priorities so if the stomach is getting in the way let's work on getting that stomach down let's get outside let's go for a little walk little jog and just get moving yeah, but say you have problems with your, the lining of your stomach. What happens then? I don't think there will be any problem with the, the inside of the stomach just by moving on the bending over like that. That means that you won't be able to tie your shoe. If it's a problem, you won't be able to tie your shoe. When you poo poo, you cannot bend down and pull up your underwear. Exactly. You understand? So all them things they are normal mo movements that someone's supposed to do. So what he's trying to show you is that if you cannot do these movements, that means that you are diseased. So it's a disease. Yeah. So you have to work whatever. The thing is, you have, to be, you have to be working upon it. And start slow. Start slow and it will come. But we don't want to go right away trying to touch the toes. Let's work, touch the <coughs> knees, touch the shins. And slowly but surely, it will go. It will work there. And you see at least five minutes. Five minutes a day, a great start. A great start. Twice a day? Twice a day when you wake up, before you go to bed, get the moving, try and bend over, sit up nice and tall, and go back down. And that'll be a good, a good basic start for the back to help it move around a little bit. And sometimes you just move around like this too. You know, and just free, free it up, free the movement. Like you're dancing, put on your nice music, and don't be afraid to just move. So in other words, if you are a dancer, you shouldn't have a problem? It should be better. The dancers have, have a better motion in their body, but still some dancers, they don't have that, but they have a better, a better chance than a lot of us who just sit down all day. Not country music you're talking about, eh? Uh, uh, who's cheating on who? Who's cheating on? Thank you. <laughs> not, not country. Have a blessed night. All right, blessed. honorable. Love. Four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero. I think I interrupted you a while ago when 
when when you were answering that ad question or whatever. What, what what was that question? The education. Education, your educational foundation. Yes. So growing up in basketball, I was you could say I was being mentored by my trainers every single time. So that was the the, the grassroots, the basics of it. And then after that, I took a, my seminar, get my certification, and then I go learn from the people who are doing that right now. The people who are, who are teaching that, who are the best in the world at what they do, go to them and learn from experience. You know, because the book can only tell you so much. So go learn from the experience, get the basic book, education, and then you go learn. So you did college and these type of things too? I did, yes. Where you studied at college? I finished at Thompson Rivers University. What did you study there? Uh, economics. Ec you're an economic man? Yes. So when, you, when you're done, we'll have to talk some economics. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I mean, the economics of the physical structure. How is it that you would... You see, you know, people has put money aside every year to pay their insurance, $3,000, their vehicle insurance every year. And they, they don't put aside $3,000 every year to treat themselves yes. for a vacation. Sometimes they don't put five minutes to just do a little movement. So it's, it's tough out there sometimes, I feel. It's, it's very tough. 451 934 Give the brother a call. I mean, ask him whatever question you want. He'll be able to actually shed some light on whatever it is that you do. I, I, in my, as a, as, a, um, as a healer, I find that Warm castor oil and cayenne pepper does help a lot in the movement of, of body parts. So if someone has arthritic pains or they have gout, you know, massaging if warm castor oil and cayenne pepper powder, I'm talking about the, the local castor oil, I'm yes. not the virgin one. This does have a lot of benefits. Are there particular products that you have developed yourself economically, right, to actually you know, help someone get to that point. As a sister was saying, so if someone has a, a stomach thing or thing, have you developed any products or anything that, you know, you could tell us about that have actually helped people or you intend to do that? What, what, what's your plans? Well, right now, I'm currently seeing people only face to face. So it's kind of, the reach isn't as strong. So if you can come to my classes, we can work on it or the private sessions. But what I'm working on is getting the online database there. So no matter where you are, we could, we could see where, you, where you're at and get a diagnosis and then give you the proper nutrition, the proper movements to help you reach your goals. So that's what's working on in the future is to get that online infrastructure built so you could look at your app. You know, everyone has their phone. Look at the app. Okay, this is what I'm supposed to do today. And you do it. And then you can take a video, send it to me. And we work on that as well. So that's something that we're working on for the future. All right. Give thanks. Give thanks. Definitely. 451-934-9453-1730. When you see me on the street, don't come and ask me oh, what the man was talking about. Uh, right now, you have a, it's just like before. You used to be hungry at home and thing. And you tell you, oh, oh, you want one more food, man? No, no. But you want more food. Good lands call a blessed. Yes, I'm all up. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm, Jared, I call you for, I call you for the, for the, um, to help me to sleep, so you, I call you, I didn't hear from you. Okay. So what, so what, so what you say? I to call you and, and just, just, just go by, just go by the full of seven ital hotspot and get what you call a Ras Lax syrup. Ask them for a Ras Lax syrup, that'll make you rest good, okay? Uh, Ras Lax. Ras Lax Syrup. Like relax. Could you, could you spell it for me? R A S for me, please. R A S dash L A X. Okay. Ras Lax. Okay. Love honorable. Okay. Yes, yes. Four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero. Yes, Shabbat. Blessed. I'm calling to find out what I should give my three-year-old daughter. She has a um, mucus on her chest. Do you have any movements that could take off mucus on her chest? You have, you have a, 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 someone here today with us from, from BC who, who deals with movements. Is there anything that you could recommend for that or is that my question? That's, that's in your realm. We'll leave that up to you. 
Yes, sister, use um, 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 leaf of life, okay? When they go leaf of life, cut, cut all the zombies, cut back all the zombies. Right, you could pong it, squeeze out the juice, warm it a, warm it a little bit, yeah, and, and give it to them. Right, or you could use um, what they call um, La Felicio, it's a very effective herb, okay? Don't give them cheese and milk and yogurt. Who's got yogurt? Right? I mean, it's just milk and bacteria from guts of people. And so milk, cheese, any dairy products, you have to avoid that. Also fried foods. Very, 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 very important. Especially vegetable oils. Poison. 451-934-9453-1730. Ask the brother. So what, what would have happened if I never, if I was not saying call and ask the brother a question. What would have happened? <laughs> I'm sitting and still, you asking me questions. <laughs> Let's know, ask the honorable brother a question here. You touched on a good point about using the nutrition, using the cayenne pepper and these things to help you move better and to understand that how you eat is also gonna help you move better. Once you feel better, you're able to get out and you're able to move. That's why we can't separate the diet from how you move. You know, so a lot of the times it's important to, to look at what you're eating for movement as well. Kazaba, blessed. Good evening. Blessed love, honorable. To you and your presenter. Give blessed dance. love. Oh, you've been listening. So uh, yes, I have yes. been. Um, <laughs> I want to know if he, um, what, what exercises can you recommend for um, SI joint pain? I will listen on screen. The SI joint? Yes, SI you, joint. You can sit down on your back. Thank you. She listen off it. Okay, you can sit down on your back and put your back so it's flat on the ground and then bring your knees to your chest and you pull on one knee and you push on the other for five seconds, hold, and then you do the other way. So five seconds, lying on your back, pull on one knee, push on the other, pull on one knee, push on the other, and then put your feet back down and that's going to help to re realign the hips there and to help the SI joint. I, 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 you see, since you hung up, you cannot even yes. say thank you. Okay? <laughs> we have to put a little bit more credit on our phones. <laughs> right? So at least say thank you. Or you could call back and say give thanks, honorable. 451-9349-453-1730. We have just enough time for just about two more questions. Yes, Bokash, blessed. Yes, we hearing you. Yes, um, good night. Yes, good night. I just want to ask a question of um, Yes, okay, I just want to ask a question concerning arthritis. Mm -hmm. Especially when you don't have the cartilage in the knees. Mm -hmm. What kind of exercise that you should be taking for it? What you can do is work on just sitting down into the chair and getting back up. So start really slow because we're going to sit down and eventually we have to stand up. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is just work on that. So do that 10 to 15 times every day, three times. And just to, to strengthen your knees in a very light and easy position. We don't want to give too much. But that's a good basic move to do just from seating to standing up. Yeah, because the, the, most of the problem sometimes when I sit down, I can hardly stand up. Yes, yeah, so there's... You can... Go and, to and the knee is also giving way. Sometimes when I walk, yes. it just push me forward. Yes, it's, it's, sometimes the seat is too low. So what we can do is we can bring the seat up, maybe put something on the seat or sit on a higher stool mm. and just sit up and down. So you don't want to have the pain during your, your, your training. Mm. Right? We don't want to be, be stressing the system. So just sit on something a little bit higher uh -huh. and we could lightly start up in there and that's a good start. It's tough to give you a lot of information in this short program, but that's a good start for, uh, for what, you, what you're already doing. Okay. So just sit a little bit higher and work on that. Okay. Drink CMOS, okay. Ev CMOS every day. CMOS helps you rebuild back the cartilage. I will drink some CMOS fish You have to drink the CMOS every day? The I CMOS cannot, is necessary. I cannot drink CMOS. Well, okay then. All right. All right. Oh, yes, yes, three are called a blessed. Yes, good evening. Yeah, bless. Uh. Yes, blessed love, how you doing and how is your, how, how is your guest? I'm blessed, I'm blessed and, and my presenter for is your blessed. Guest. Blessed, thank uh. you, blessed. Yeah, one question for your guest. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, it, has, it sounds like your knee had went on sleep, and then, you know, it, it wake up. So what did you do in order to wake it up? The same thing I was mentioning before is just... Um, I got cut off from the program because I'm back on foot or trying to see if I could get the line, so I missed up some of it. Okay. So what I did was just working on the squat yeah. or going down to sit down yeah. and then coming back up because it's very, very low impact on the joints. So you just want to work on doing something that's very easy. You can do it at home while you're watching your TV and just sit down on your, on your couch and then stand back up and just to strengthen a little bit around the knees and get that going. Something really light, really easy. If you're having pain, get the seat up a little bit higher. Okay. What, what about the bending on one? With the other one okay, let's oh, say right. Let's say right. Um, it sounds like... Um, it sounds like your your ligament have not messed up yet. But what about um, for people who the ligaments already messed up and then you know a lot of a, a lot of pain is in there yes. and hardly anything that much you can do to 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 really help the situation. When the ligament gets hurt, it's it's something that you want to be really really particular with after this traumatic experience. So that's something we want to work in more. Of a, of a personalized experience. So that's really, it's really tough to say that, but basically to just do your motion of the sitting down, bring your knee up to your chest, straighten your leg out, bend your leg back in, straighten your leg out, bend your leg back in while sitting, and just to do really small movements with that leg that aren't really hard impact. So we want to start off nice and easy. You can sit down and just straighten your leg out in front of you and then bend it back and put it on the ground. And that's just going to help whatever you have in that knee. It's just going to help get that, that uh, flow a little bit better and help you a little bit more. But something again, um, I realized that, um, you know, to do the flow work, and then when, after you finish do the flow work in order to get back on your foot, you know, it's like um, it's very painful. And then again, the only way to do some floor work, I guess, you know, more like it, you know, it is better to get a stool and do what you have to do. Because, you know, exactly. a long time ago, you know, I guess, you know, it's not that I didn't have respect for mine, but I had no idea without your knee, you are no place at all. Exactly. Yeah. Give thanks, my sister. Okay, yes. thank love, you. So love, love. Okay. okay. Yes, me could call her, blessed. Hello, good night. Yes, honorable, bless. Yeah, I'd like to know what exercises should you do for muscle depletion, so especially around the joints? For losing muscle, the losing the muscle mass? Yes. Sure. With whatever you want to do is you want to get a full body, full body motion. So you could do squats, you can do push-ups on the seat, and you, if you're eating well, and that's going well, then you just want to do the basic exercises. You don't need a gym. You could sit down, like I mentioned before, onto your chair, stand back up. You can do push-ups on your wall. Do push-ups on the wall there, straighten your leg, bend down, reach your toes, sit back up nice and tall. And very simple movements, but you just want to, to, to give your body some kind of exercise that you're going to be able to do consistently. So that's the key is consistent, not just one day and stop, not just one week. We want to be able to do this over a period of weeks, months, and forever. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Blessed. Four five one nine three four nine. the final call specifically. Four five three one seven three zero. You could also check the budget on Instagram. Yes, Instagram. Is that, it, is that it really there? That's how Instagram does look? That is it. No, I don't really go on them type of thing. <laughs> you know the internet is like a web. It's a web. Yeah. That's, so, uh, so. There's a lot of information there that people can just go type it in. Yeah. And they have a lot of information at their hands. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Big spiders that do not spy. <laughs> spiders in Watch the out. web. <laughs> yes, Babu, no call a blessed. Blessed love unto your guest. Honorable blessed. Blessed. I you calling to find out, can you drink the Seamoth hot? Yeah, you could do Seamoth porridge, you know. That's awesome. Right, you could just boil it up with your little bay leaf and your thing. Or you soak it 
right? Uh -huh. You soak it in, you wash it up with some lime or some sour orange, right? Then you, you rinse it off. Uh -huh. Then you just put some warm water over it. It will just coagulate, get, get, get fat, right? Then you blend it with some, some bay leaf, you know, and you put a little, some bits in it, you know, and you put a little coconut milk and you blend it. You put it in your, in your little pot. Mm -hmm. you, you boil it like a nice little um, 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 porridge. It's not even porridge, it's rich age. I mean, porridge is called milk porridge and them type of thing there, but rich is well, it's very, very, very good, right? Yes, yes. I yes. broke my fast today. With how long do I drink it for? Every day, if you could afford it. You know, it makes your joints very strong. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, my sister. Thank you. I well, give you energy too. What's that? It gives you energy too? Well, I mean, you have to be careful, eh? Or else you'll blow off your battery and give you so much energy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Have a blessed one. <laughs> okay, my sister. Love, love, love. All right, you can link the brother on Instagram. I mean, you could see him here. Are we connected to that? To the oh, oh, Okay, I, I see that little black screen again. Abracadabra? No? Okay. I think I cast my last spell earlier on. All right. So definitely those of you who, who, who want to link um, Honorable Akim Pierre, you know, um, as I said, you know, he's a born Canadian man, but his father is born St. Lucian. You know, his father is my uncle, really. His father is my, um, how do you call that? Um, godfather. Yes, Mom, do not bless it. Yes. My daughter, I have a granddaughter. She has eczema. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, what do you think I can use for for the eczema? <laughs> Avoid dairy products, right? And also, you take the you take the um the kokum coolie, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you you crush it up in some water and thing, and use it to scrub the skin. And the green water, you could bathe the child with it, right? And we have a okay. wonderful eczema cream with cocoa butter and shea butter base. All right. Yes, and how, how, um, how much you sell the cocoa button share? The cream? Oh, it's $50 easy. Okay, then. Okay, my love. Yes. Thank you for calling. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. Yes. All right, love. Okay, all right. Give us father and mother like you. I mean, time is obviously how to speak so fast right now because we move out of time. Any final, final words, Honorable, what you want to tell the people? Check out my website, richsoulsfitness.com, and send me an email. I'm, I'll respond to every email, and I'll try and work with you however you can. But just get out and move. You don't need a gym to get fit. Like we said, you but can Jim sit down. But Jim is just an, a man. Jim is Who's just Jim? a man. J -I -M <laughs> the earthworm Jim. Oh, <laughs> so Wait. get out and move. You don't need you don't need Jim. You know, leave him behind and get out and move. Go walk the hills and enjoy enjoy the movement. You don't need the gym. Move movement is life. Hmm. Give yourself life. All right, give thanks. You sound like Chris Kalash. They are saying you don't need the the hospital man. <laughs> just plant your food in the back yeah. <laughs> eh? Mm -hmm. What is it there? Marsha, final call? Yeah, best of love, honorable priest. Yes, honorable. I got... What happened? You feel better already, eh? <laughs> I forgot to tell you, I got... <laughs> <laughs> I got down my heart. Oh, give and, thanks. And I forget what you tell me how to do with it. Just pour some hot water over the complete plant, allow it to cool, mm. and drink it for the morning time. Drink it seven days and stop. Right? Oh, Te seven days me. and stop? Yeah, tell me how you feel, and then I will, I will advise you whether to continue or not. Okay, I'll remember do. just just sit down and bend and touch the toes. Touch the toes. Yeah, I touch my toes. <laughs> How did you feel? <laughs> I just touched it on the bed. You feel good, eh? You see that? Yeah. She feels good. I feel good. Give mm -hmm. thanks. Yeah, love. Give thanks. Yeah, love. 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 <laughs> love, love, love. I mean, give thanks. I mean, oh, what a heart of joy when you bring heart of joy to the people. Give thanks for all the elders outside there in TV land. You know, give thanks for the love you all continually give. Um, Brother George and, and Mistress George, I mean, definitely. You, do, you could give me a call, 722 and let me know if I could come and give you a home visit or something, if you need something from me, and you couldn't get me today. Just love, 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 love. Love is the key, the only key to open up Zion's door. Whosoever enter in, ever living life shall get. So remember, tomorrow specifically, we'll be in office from 8 o'clock until 11. 8 a.m. till 11. If you want an afternoon visit, you have to call 722-3660. Remember, Honorable Cass Wesmore is there. 
you know, for your cupping therapy and your different type of therapy. And, you know, um, a phone still ringing. We're not, we're not taking any more calls, <laughs> you know. The brother will come back next year. Say, write all your questions from now until next year. And when he comes, you see, from the beginning, I said, call and check the brethren. He never called. Now you want to call when our time up. Eh? And they give us already 21 minutes more. Eh? So we cannot do that to Calabash TV. Thank you, Mr. Calabash, upstairs there. But I think that's Thank good you, enough Calabash. for people. All right? So definitely, we, you know, those of you who want to see us, you know, we, we are in office 8 till 11. And if you want to see us later in the afternoon time, towards the evening time, give us a call, 722-3660. Or if you want us later down the week, I mean, you could give us a call. Remember, I mean, for the next 40 days, I won't be traveling at all. So I'll be here on Mon Kailash, I mean. So if anything, you could give us a link up. Remember, we have our organic foods and things and organic herbs. You know, if you, whatever it is that you want, your herb, your potted plants, anything whatsoever, give us a call, 722 3660, you could WhatsApp it, you could call it. You know, if you overseas, plus 1758. And website, preschoolers.com, the food of info at preschoolers.com. You know how it is, how it goes. Love. Also, the herbal manual book available, you know. You, the only way you support me is by supporting me, you know. They say, well, put your money where your mouth is, right? Spend the money with me, I'll spend it back with you. So you make the money circulate. And the current, as I call money, currency, you know. It's currency. You have to make it travel. So when the money leave you, the money come back. Money leave you, money come back. Currency. So don't be afraid to spend a little money for yourself. <laughs> or else you don't have no current. You don't flow. You don't stay in the bank and you'll die. And people will fight over it. Eh? And you'll not get any blessing. The balcony you build, go and sit down in it and watch the sunrise and the sunset. The expensive chair you buy, go and sit down and bend and touch your toe. That's one big lesson you've learned today. The chair you buy, you never have time to sit on. You're going to have to sit down on it and touch your too. May the Almighty God bless and keep you and make His holy face shine upon you. Even if your face is not so holy, you know how God is. His face shine upon everyone, the thief, the robber, the whatever it is that you're doing. He say you rather the sinner come to repentance than perish. 722-3660. Blessed love. Give thanks for the moment.